Hello, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People, and I trust that everyone is doing well today. I have a spin on what I've already videoed under my waffle recipe. So I'm going to use that recipe to add an additional spin on it. So this will be called Sausage Waffles. And I want to invite you into my kitchen and cook with me as I uh, share this wonderful recipe with you. Okay, in this bowl I'm showing, I'm going to have two cups of baking mix. And I use Pioneer all the time. So uh, you can use Bisquit or whatever, but I use Pioneer. Okay, let me show you. Pioneer. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm going to put two cups of this baking mix, one and a half cup of milk, and two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Okay, while I'm mixing the a waffle mix, I'm gonna plug up my waffle urn. If you have a waffle urn, I have the Belgium waffle urn. But use whatever waffle urn you have. Okay, I have two cups of baking mix in this bowl. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring or, or extract. And give it a little different taste. And then I'm going to also put uh, about a tablespoon of sugar. And that just keeps your batter from getting lumpy when you add your milk. Okay, stir that up a little bit here to mix your sugar up in there. And then we're going to add two eggs. You're going to whip those up just a little bit. And I like to put my eggs in a bowl before adding them to the batter. Because sometimes you might get a bad egg and you don't want it to, to be already in your other ingredients. So always crack your eggs separate before you add it to any batter. Okay, so that's two eggs. Add your milk. There'll be one and a half cup of milk. Now you're going to stir these ingredients together until you get it a smooth batter. Okay, you're going to set it aside and then prepare your sausage while that sets aside. I have here in the skillet look, probably about a half a cup of sausage and I'm going to brown this, mash it up and just brown it to uh, till it's crumbly. See how brown and crumbly. And you can add any kind of meat to your waffle if you prefer bacon or whatever, turkey sausage, whatever you want, turkey, bacon. But this morning, I'm just going to use this regular sausage. And it'll probably make three Belgian waffles. Okay. Now I'm going to dump this on a paper towel to soak up any excess oil fat. Because I don't want that in my waffle. Put 
that on your paper towel and spread it out just to get rid of that extra oil on there. Mash it and get, mash it and get all the oils off of it. See there? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to add that to our batter. Now we're going to add this to the batter. And I find that about a half a cup is plenty for us because you don't have to have a whole lot of meat unless you want to. But it just gives that waffle a wonderful flavor. You see all that extra grease come off there? You don't want that in your waffle. So now you're just going to stir this up. Okay, and that way you'll have a sausage in every bite when you make it like this. Now I'm going to spray my waffle iron. And now that should be good and hot and ready to put your waffles in. Okay, I'm going to dip my batter. It's about a cup, but it just depends on the size of your waffle iron. I have a pretty big waffle iron, so I'll put a cup of batter into the hot waffle iron. So you just, but you don't want to put too much where it just starts spilling out. But as you can see, I'll put just a little more around those edges. Because this is a Belgian waffle. And I let it sit a few minutes before I put the top down. So it won't just gush out when you put the uh, top down on your waffle cooker. Okay, now I'm going to raise my waffle cooker iron down. And you're going to flip it over once it's down. Just follow the instructions on your waffle cooker. And if you don't have a waffle cooker, you can also use this recipe as pancakes. You can also make pancakes with the sausage already uh, in the batter. And I learned this way because sometimes you don't have a whole lot of sausage or meats to serve so if you just use what you have crumble it up and then just add it to the batter then everybody get a a little taste of the the goodies so we're going to let this uh, waffle iron do its thing and it'll tell me when it's ready to turn over okay now it's ready the light is on here it's saying that it's ready to turn back over and we'll see what we have here. Mmm, look at that. That looks fantastic. And see, everybody get a taste of the sausage. In that delicious sausage waffle. And what I'll do is heat up my syrup and butter in a bowl. And then just put it on the table to serve. And you can cut these in half if you don't, or, you know, whatever you want to do or serve them whole. They're great for breakfast, brunch, dinner, whatever. You could be creative and add your own meat. I've had uh, people add uh, roasted chicken in it, uh, honey roasted turkey. You can add anything and then make your chicken and waffles like this. You can have your roasted chicken and crumble it up into your batter and you'll have chicken and waffles, of course. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's great uh, for the entire family when you have guests over for brunch or breakfast. These are always a uh, crowd pleaser. So, if you like it, please give me thumbs up. 
and comment and let me know what type of meat you use in your batter. So without further ado, you know what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to eat. So I'll check with you later. Love, love. Trying to give you a good shot of it. Let me turn it this way so you can see it even better. Mmm. 